Hello and welcome into the Hourglass. It's great to have each and every one of you beautiful, bright, brilliant, funny <laughs> uh, tarot lovers and tarot babes. All right, so let's get into it. This is a message from your person. Your person may be cross watching, so this may be your message to them. Somebody's very heavy hearted, somebody's head grieving. All right, this could have been going on for the last past week. I feel like somebody may have been in a bad investment or they chose wrong and now they're in some sort of grief, all right? And I feel like this person is being swallowed up in grief. All right, so let's see what's going on. So this may be love messages. This may be your love story. If, this, if you're not in a relationship and you're just out here single, this may not be the message for you. This may also be an ex that have never told you, you know, how, how things stung between the both, bet what happened between the both of you, right? They could be still just keeping all this in and it's festering right now. I'm feeling like this person feels very unsafe or they feel very unhappy where they're at whatever wherever they're at in the world whatever they're doing they feel very unsafe or they just feel like things are very uncertain hey you know they could feel like you were their best friend i'm hearing i miss my best friend so this could be someone that you were friends with this could be your an ex best friend somebody that you know you spend a lot of time with and this person may be missing you maybe they did something that crossed the line or they kind of triggered you into something that you don't want to be or want to feel anymore for some of you, it's a friend that's living a life that you kind of like moved away from, you moved on from, and they're still kind of like in that level. And they kind of know that um, you're just not in that shit with their asses, right? So let's see what this is about. Let me see the topic. Claire, obvious messages. We have it safe to love. So this is the second time this came out today. So we definitely have closed hearts in the building. Somebody's protecting their heart from pain. Uh, they may conscientiously know that it's very safe to love you, or you may be knowing that it's safe to love, but right now the pain is too deep and you're not wanting to open your heart and therefore you're pushing away this love, all right? That showed up in my first video today. So you may want to check that video. This may be a continuation of it. Uh, in that video, uh, I was kind of reluctant to share details. So maybe that card came up so I could go into extra details. But sometimes I'm just not here for all that details. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't have the strength for that. My spirit can't take it. So Claire, obvious messages, please. So we have getting to know each other. So some of you may have had, I'm hearing this uprising of healing. So some of you may have planted yourself in the dirt, in the darkness. Some of you may have went into your cocoon, your man cave, your bat cave. Um, I don't know why I heard Hell's Kitchen. That's some Chef Ramsay shit. So maybe I'm kind of like craving for some Chef Ramsay. You know how he gets down <laughs> when he comes to the truth. Anyway, so I feel like. Whoever is healing or you guys have changed so much since the last time you guys interacted or saw each other that you guys going to have to kind of like get to know each other again. We have as you reveal the innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you know, maybe this person has a very vivid memory and they kind of go back to a lot of things that you guys talk about. Maybe this person rereads old text messages or listen to old voice message, voice talk, whatever. Somebody's going back to things that were said in the past and they're kind of like getting to know you through that for some of you this person is watching you online they follow you they may follow your channels if you have channels or platforms they're getting to know you in a very i'm hearing this person was very abrasive or this situation was very abrasive to the both of you but this person may be trying to get to you get to know you through observations all right so you know, this person may be feeling very intimate or you guys had a lot of intimate moments where they shared things with you they would never tell anyone or you kind of like read their mind or you're somebody that's very intuitive to them. You guys share the same energy frequency. So you kind of pick up on things that they were thinking and you pull, you know, you make this person sit up. You make them try to button their shirt to the top. You know, you make them watch what the hell they're going to say. You know, you make this person check their manners. So with this car... 
I'm feeling this person may be discovering new ways on how to relate to you or you're discovering this or this is what this person wants to do. Again, they're in this grieving heavy heart, but it's closed off right now because they may have done th some things that makes them feel embarrassed about how they treated you or how they value this connection. Now, with this card, I feel like this person wants to honestly talk to you. Like they have some shit that they need to get off of their chest and they may feel like, you know what? You don't have time to hear it because when things were all great and dandy, they didn't have shit to say. They chilled, they did what they did and now they have to lie in that bed, whatever, right? But this person wants to discuss their feelings. And for a lot of you, this person may be talking themselves out and actually coming to you and talking to you about it because they feel like admitting it, you would not support it or they don't have the strength to admit something here to you. So they want honest communication or they want to honestly discuss some things about this love between the both of you or they're holding a lot of clear... I'm hearing they're holding a lot of clear um, enlightenments or they came to some sort of clarity, possibly from their guides or, you know, they kind of like sit and like reflect on what happened. But they have a lot of clarity regarding this connection or whatever is going on and they're holding it deep inside. Oh, wow. Your person could take on a lot. We have separation. So definitely you, you guys may be experiencing separation or you guys, you know, mutually decided to take some time off. But you see this, this masculine energy holding his heart and he has on all of this armor. Listen, you have, you have seen through the kinks in this armor or the love or whatever it is, the clarity came through the kinks in this person's armor, but they're holding it deep down and it's like killing them with this heavy heart. I'm hearing, you know, maybe that Tony Braskin song, um, Break My Heart, Say You Love Me Again. So this person may want you to say you love you love them again. Hi, Sir Sci-Fi. Sir Sci-Fi is just like, do you love me? Of course I love you. I take care of you all the time. He's like, meh. <laughs> with, his, with his bottom lip. Ooh, push up like some Caribbean person. Mm. So it says time apart from time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Maybe for some of you, this person may feel like time is running out and this is why their heart is getting heavy. It's almost like they're experiencing losses or something is happening to this person and they can't take the pain anymore. They may have given themselves some time to grieve and they like, listen, I can't hold this in no more. And they're connected because you see how they hold in hands here, you guys. You guys are energetically connected. You guys are still in each other's energy. But you guys have changed so much since the separation that you guys have to, like, step it up. Like, this person may have to jump up to reach you now or vice versa. So let's get the core emotions here. This may be emotions that you need to be aware of or you need to embrace core emotions. So it's important. So let's see how this person may be feeling besides heavy hearted, very frustrated. They feel like time is running out. They have, they have took possibly some shortcuts. You know, maybe they have some unexpected situations that's cropping up. That's putting a red light. This could also mean some red flags. Hey, that's um, hindering your person and blocking them from coming through with this honest communication about some sort of clarity. You know, you may have kind of like rode the six flags with these, all these red flags. He was like, Hey, red is my favorite color. And you just kept going with this person until eventually you guys had to split up or you guys had to take a break from this situation. I feel like the angels or you guys as guardians, your guides are like bombarding you with telepathic messages or divine messages from each other. So maybe they're your ancestors and their ancestors, they be padding up, you know, in that break room talking about y'all. <laughs> All right. So this may be a very unique connection. We have angry. Yeah, your person is very angry. They're very angry with themselves. I feel like their nerves, it's like everybody else is getting on your person's fucking nerves, all right? And they just want to dash to you. They may just want to like show up at your door or take a trip, take a flight, pop up in your city and be like, look, I need to talk to you. We need to talk. Take your clothes off. None this <laughs> They want to talk to you regardless. I feel like everybody else around them is making them sick. It's getting on their fucking nor on their nerves. You know, they're very short tempered hair as well. I'm hearing Andres, Angela, Angela, Angela. Okay. So we have Andres, 
Andres and Angela. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get into the crappy cards. What the f they want to talk about? What the f they want to talk? What do you want? What you want now, Philip? <laughs> What's wrong with you now? She. Oh shit! They want to talk about a commitment. Ow! <laughs> Oh, now you want to talk about commitment. What, what happened to when the relate, when we had something going on, why you couldn't talk then? Psh, just give me my money. You owe me <laughs> one more card commitment. They want to talk about commitment. So they may have, they may have been going through some karmic lessons and they've been getting a lot of clarity and through these karmic lessons or these life lessons, and they could have been going through a, le a life lesson with a karmic person as well a karmic account with another individual that they needed to see through to understand um you guys as bond but it helped deepen the bond so sometimes we need to kind of like put ourselves in positions to see how valuable someone or ourselves or how life is all right so i do feel this person is very frustrated they're very angry they may be taking some time off to cool down before they come and talk to you because in this energy i feel like they're going to get very aggressive and loud and that's going to complicate or push you away and they don't want to do that because if you guys have to get to know each other again or for some of you you have to get to know each other before they could actually speak their truth they're gonna have to raise the bar here we have new lifestyle who this so your person wants to do things very differently for some of you this person wants to relocate from where they're at whatever is happening is causing a major wedge here and you know they feel like they might lose you forever whoever you may be so mm. So the song that comes through is Keith Washington kissing you. I don't want to get into details, but maybe that whole song is for you kissing you. I'm hearing we have this one night or we're going to spend the night together. I can't remember the lyrics. You guys want to big up yourself in the comment box. It's called Keith Washington kissing you. All right. So let's get some, um, Listen, I have a terrible, I, I, I find it very hard to pick a deck sometimes, but I'm going to go with this one. So let's see what your person, no, I used this the last time. I don't want the same old messages coming through. So we're going to use this deck. This is some of my uh, starter decks that when I first got into tarot, because I do more transformational um, reads than love reads. So it's like. These are my starter decks that I used to practice on connected with my ancestors and, their, and such and such. So we have the nine of cups. Your person may have been someone they're hiding something here. They're hiding a gift or they're hiding, you know, this heartfelt communication that they want to tell you. I feel like they may have been trying to drink this off, trying to numb themselves out. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be any sort of rich foods, you know, doing a lot of self pleasure to kind of numb themselves out. For some of you, this person has been masturbating over you. Like, it's nothing to freak out about if some of you are like, oh my God, that's disgusting. I didn't come to this reading for that. Well, the door is right there. You could skip on out and click on another tour reader that may have messages for you. But this person has been masturbating. You could have been masturbating to this person as well. The both of you could have been simultaneously feeling very sexual, powerful urges because you guys want to connect to each other. And this person may feel like time is running out when it comes to being with you. You are some sort of emotional fulfillment. You make this person feel like they're in cloud nine all right you make them feel like a fat kid with chocolate cake all right this person may have been playing the feel a lot they may have been trying to do things in a very selfish manner here and i feel like they may have gotten what they want but it was not what they want when they got it all right so your person is feeling really sad right now could be very depressive very lonely so it's like they're surrounded by everything they want like i said they may have a group of people around them and they're fucking sick of these people all right they're sick of them your person may have a problem with time i feel like they may have missed time like flights like boarding flights or they missed they show up to work late for no reason or they, they just wait till the last minute you may be dealing with a person i know we all do this but you may be dealing with a person that you know their alarm goes off and they hit snooze and they get like two minutes to take a fucking bath right so let's see 
Oh, look at you. We have the Queen of Cups, that I miss you calling card with the Page of Swords. So your person definitely may have some things that they want to tell you, but they're holding it back. They may be choosing just to observe the situation a little bit more or observe what's going on in their life. Do I have what it takes to kind of fulfill this commitment or even talk about this commitment with you? They're still learning here with some sort of karmic lesson but they want to talk to you about it maybe you're someone that has a lot of reference or you have good counsel or you it's like what would you do or they seem to think that you know what this karmic lesson has to teach them maybe they're not quite grasping the wisdom or what they have to um to learn here with the page of swords i feel like in the past you were very very intuitive to their emotional needs while they were in this page of swords energy where they were very nervous about that gift or that ability that you have they may have this may be a person that's into gossip so they may have like talked to their friends about you and you know following their ill advice led them into another karmic lesson they may even want to explain for some of you this person may want to tattle tale <laughs> <laughs> they may want to tell you why this separation came about or why they missed opportunities because of poor time management. They may they may want to pass the blame on other things or people. So beware of that. Trust how you feel when this person comes to you with this communication with the Queen of Cups. I feel like right now... <clears throat> in this queen of cups energy this person is really focused on how they feel like they feel it in their heart in their soul they're paying attention to their emotions about you and this situation about this commitment about this new lifestyle that they want i feel like they could be playing around with crystals or they're playing around with water they could be working with the elements of water to kind of flush out their system hey as well but it feels like they're very hesitant with the page of swords or they feel like you're going to hesitate towards them six of swords so this person is going to return but they're looking for a safer way to do this they may be trying to kind of like calm themselves down emotionally before they come towards you they're being led back to this situation possibly to close it out as well maybe you guys have a very karmic -y lesson or they you guys have a life lesson that needs to be closed out or they feel like they feel very like in this page of swords energy they feel very nervous their nerves is fucking with them and i feel like in many ways they feel like getting back to you and like having closure or kind of like ironing out whatever happened between the both of you would somehow give them a sort of relief they miss you or they they it's like they found a lot of emotional peace they found peace with you but they're trying to maintain staying on top of things you could have been dealing with someone that was all talk and no action and they're very nervous to come forward with this commitment because you're going to be like oh okay so when we was together or when things was gravy you couldn't talk about commitments then you know what you talked about this before clack you know them flip flop phones clack <laughs> so we have the five of cups they're looking for the most safest way to come towards you but this person is starting to see that either direction or route or path that they take is going to have some sort of discomfort hey with the uh, five of cups all right they're constantly thinking about giving you this commitment even though they're they're still focusing on the mishaps and the mistakes and things that kind of got fucked up and messed up between the both of you they're constantly trying to learn new ways or new creative ways to cross this bridge or to give you some sort of direction or to come with some sort of direction for this two of cups energy in the five of cups all right your person may again pass the blame off on somebody else head with that that black cape like this pity party like oh my god this and this happened but you were on my mind all the time and it was always you but that happened and this happened and traffic built up and i couldn't make my flight and Tell them you don't want to be invited to that bullshit, that pity party bullshit. This person still has a vision and they want to talk to you about this truth that's in their heart. They may feel like you're still very angry and this is why you you kind of like reserve your emotions or kind of like start pouring your emotions where it's valued. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I'm getting the number 65. 65 may be very important to you. Doesn't have to be. You could be born on the 6th the fifth or the sixth month or the fifth or the sixth date 
day of any month but with the wheel of fortune what i'm hearing is that your person in the self-expressive they have love they have children they may have some sort of affair maybe they have this affair with you on their mind a lot and it doesn't have to mean like cheating affair it means like the affair between the both of you this intimate event or affair that is between the both of you they're learning a lot from it in this separation this person is going over some sort of conversation that you guys talked about or they're listening to something that you said they have something a record a video of something of you talking and it makes them it puts them in a better mood hey now the person may be very fixed energy they could be a fixed sign with water and air placements um, this could be Aquarius Taurus Scorpio Leo doesn't have to be we have the Queen of Cups energy so you know there may be in this patient energy of the Queen this could be a cancer with a Gemini doesn't have to be though <laughs> um, I'm also feeling to say that I feel like cancer energy really strong or Scorpio, but I feel like this person feels like it's their responsibility to kind of patch things up with the both of you. They're being guided back to you or they're being led to a new beginning or a new lifestyle within their life. But without you, it just feels incomplete without you, girl, my life is incomplete. What is that? Cisco? All of the money. And all of the cars don't amount to you. You know that song, you guys. Why don't you big up yourself in the comment box? So the Wheel of Fortune. Karma with the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Karma. So this person has been getting their karma for fucking up shit with you. And I feel like their karma is whoever they chose or whatever situation they chose or put be, be in front of you. And they're kicking themselves in their butt. Their nerves are fucking with them. All right. So this person may have anxiety. They may have like a guilty conscience. They may also feel um, stressed out about what they did to you or what they didn't do for you. But they feel like the, the time is now that they need to stop dwelling on these past mistakes. I'm also feeling like this person is very psychically connected to you so they could feel your pain. I'm hearing that song by Egyptian. Go on, big, uh, big up yourself, reggae lovers. Egyptians, I could feel your pain. Egyptian, I could feel your pain. I can feel your pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, go and listen to that song. Egyptian, I could feel your pain. Even if you're a thousand miles away, I could feel your pain. Something about lonely nights. I could feel your pain. Six of swords, please. We have judgment. Ooh. <laughs> so this person is really going through it. Hey, the wheel may have reversed on your person and they may have fell from grace or they were not learning a lesson and judgment was calling this person. Now they're hearing a call. I feel for a lot of you, this person is wanting to move back in high hopes that they could uh, revive this connection with you their heart is hurting they may have put it put you guys situation connection love intimate affairs the intimacy in a box and try to put it away or they put it in a box try to kind of like devalue it and I feel like the archangels the orishas came on on this person I feel like you may have elevated or you may have you know been drawn for some of you, you may have trust the ebb and flow of the situation and may have may have been redirected or intervened, divinely intervene to go on your own path or your true calling. And this person may feel like you're forgetting about them with the separation. So if this person ghosts you or, you know, it was this constant pattern of delays and separation or even like flaking out and you decided to like, you know what? I grant you that separation. If that's what you want to do, have it. Eat your cake. Have your cake and eat it too. You're like you gave it to them and they became sick. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh my God, I couldn't eat this cake by myself. I needed to share with you, but they didn't. They kept doing their little greedy thing. But anyway, I feel like they think that you're forgetting about them. Like you closed out a cycle and you moved on and now they're grieving. They're grieving and they're thinking about all these creative ways of how to give direction to this commitment. And you know what? This could feel like a week ago. This could feel like you guys were in a very committed uh, partner partnership and they'd act um, like they were single or they acted like they're on a solo situation or without you. And um, they're grieving about that. For some of you, this person flaked you too many times and you kind of picked up your, your heart and you left. 
So they're empty now or something to that effect. So I'm hearing that the both of you have having this upgrade or you guys are evolving. There's a lot of improvements here. So even though this person reversed or they took five steps back, whatever they did, they're having improvements and they're hearing this calling to come forward here. We have the four of swords. Yeah. Uh, some of you, this person may have had to recover from eating all that cake. <laughs> what? All right. So this person needed to regroup. This person felt they were very greedy. I'm sorry to say this, but this person was very greedy. Maybe they thought that they could have you and whatever was going on and they kind of hit it and, or they hit it, right? And they tried to act like they were single or they were in phase. But this person is now kicking themselves for the way that they acted in the page of swords. Very snobby, very fickle, could be very because of this nervousness. This person has ideas or they, you guys were like feeding off each other about ideas about money or making money or making a new lifestyle. And this person may have flaked out. It's like all of a sudden they felt like this five of cups energy. Maybe they got depressed or this, whatever they were doing with you was distract, distracting them from sufferation or from feeling hopeless in their life. So they could have used you in some way. Maybe their life was not um, exciting or it was not, they didn't have any happiness and meeting you and having this person that was attending to their emotional needs. They was just like sucking it all in. They were just absorbing all of this shit in. And I feel like, Either this person was a distraction for you or the both of you was a distraction for each other in your suffering or whatever was hopeless in your life. This person is very exhausted and they're not able to switch off you or they're not, they're exhausted. They could be resting, but they're not able to switch you off of their mind. All right. This person could be sleeping with the TV on all night, you know, because they're not wanting to be alone or they're not wanting to be alone with their thoughts. This person could be astral traveling or projecting themselves in your dreams. Both of you could be dreaming about each other. This person, if they have a job, it's like they're always dread to wake up for work. And this is why they're never on time because they don't want to fucking be there. All right. They could be hiding out in their room. You know, they could have been overindulging from whatever they were doing. And now they have to heal from that. I'm hearing their depression. Cause this feels like deep sadness. So their deep sadness or their heavy heart, it deepens at bedtime for this person. Yeah. If they go to work, they, it's like, they're so unhappy to keep doing the same things over and over and over again, every fucking day. All right. But there was a lesson that they were not learning. Hey, about, you know, maybe I'm hearing that all they had was their balls and their word and they were not learning how, you know, their words are very powerful or their words had an impact on this thing between the both of you. So with the wheel of fortune and judgment, I feel like somebody's shifting a timeline. There's a breakdown that's about to happen or the breakdown is completed and it's a beginning of a shift of a new timeline or a new lifestyle. Hey, all right. So your person may be very mindful right now on the things that they did. I'm just checking my notes here, you guys. Yeah, because with the five of cups judgment and looking at their deeds, they're in some sort of self judgment on themselves. All right. So if you're being judgmental and they're, you know, receiving a lot of karma, they're judging themselves really harshly here as well. Yeah. So they want stability here with you. I keep hearing um, that song by Foreigner, I want to know what love is. So that may be your energy. You want to know what love is, but you try to get love from this person, but they couldn't face it. They couldn't face this love at the time, but you guys have grown so much. I'm hearing Capricorn with Aquarian energy. You guys have grown so freaking much. And this person is tired of suppressing their emotions. I don't know if it's a masculine or a male, but I'm hearing fears of tears. It's like this person was raised or conditioned to kind of like be stoic. Hey, release your ex. So yeah, this person is trying to release 
um, possibly an ex. They could be possibly trying to release expectations that they had about this connection, about you, about themselves, or they're trying to release experiencing in, in the past with the five of cups energy, this self judgment energy that they're going through. This person is really pushing themselves. Hey, they're really damaged. I'm hearing that they're suffering a lot of consequences. Their mental health is really destroyed. I'm hearing it's okay to cry. They're tired of playing a character, hey, of acting like everything is fine, but their pillow could see more emotions than anybody else has ever seen from this person. So they're in recovery, possibly from this grieving, possibly from the heartbreak of losing you possibly of being a failure they want to trade in something or give up some a way of looking at things hey so let's see what they want to tell you especially with this page of swords energy let's see what their heart or their mind wants to tell you let it be great let it be great page of swords so we have your behavior felt threatening to me i'm trying to tell you about it not to make you feel bad but so i could feel safe to you again so this person may want to like bring clarity on maybe something that you did maybe something that you said that triggered this person or you know again they were just really having their cake and eat it too and whatever you did was very threatening to this person and they want to tell you about it maybe you're the one that up and left you know followed your calling had a new lifestyle and had a commitment elsewhere and this person was threatened by that so again, they may be playing this victim role with the five of cups and, you know, with this ace of, of with this page of swords, this could be an, a tactic to see how far they could get away with not taking accountability. You're not crazy. I could see why you would be upset with me. So they know they're doing a lot of self judgment here, people. All right. They may be trying to do something, trying to get away with something for far too long, trying to act like they weren't learning a lesson, but yeesh. They did with judgment. When you go on and on like that, I feel invisible to you. So you may not let this person speak. You might kind of like intrude or like kind of shut this person down when they're trying to explain. They want to talk to you. They want to get something very heavy off of their chest, something that they were keeping down for a long time. They're tired of playing this character here with the four of swords and nine of cups. I know what, you, I, know what I said was hurtful. I truly didn't mean it and would do anything to take it back. So I don't know if this person kind of like undervalued or devalued your, your emotions or how you felt. And, you know, with the page of swords, you know, using words as a weapon or being very rude um, as well. So whatever happened, somebody kept that ball rolling. It was like, fuck this. What you are saying is worth listening to, but I am totally flooded. I can't take in one more thing. I wish I could, but I can't. So your person is going through a series of unfortunate events when it comes to karma. All right. They're going through a lot of um, beatings is what I'm hearing. And they're totally flooded. So it's like they may be embracing the separation to kind of let things die down or let you like cool off. So when they talk to you, it, it, it wouldn't be like, and they could also be healing as well, letting go of a lot of um, things that they did that they're not proud of. So it, their mind could be clear and kind of like accept or relate to you on a deeper level with getting to know each other. So what does your um, guardians want you to know about this situation? It's a lot of anger. And I feel like with the page of swords, this person is very anger prone, very reactive. So they get angry very quickly. And it's because they have a lot of ways about themselves that they're not like admitting as well. We have shift shifter, transform and reveal your gifts. We have mirror guardian, take time to reflect. So I feel like that's what your person is doing. You may need to do that as well. I feel like your person is a shift shifter. This person may be a part of the wolf family as well so they may have like wolf energy this person may be a, a lone wolf very smart very slick as well and they have like this hawk or eagle energy so let's try the mirror guardian hmm so we have this big mirror going on i wonder what that could be about so 
uh, you guys may be like in this reflective period about what's going on or what happened, but it's like it when it comes to your strength, it's like whatever is happening, whatever challenges is, it's reflecting something about your strengths and for you to recognize a gift. These two cards talk about recognizing, transforming, and reveal your gifts, but in different words. So both of you are very beautiful. You may be a very beautiful being to this person, and they want to kind of overcome a lot of these challenges. They want to expand and they're feeling guided with the six of swords to do so. But, you know, they may be feeling like there's some sort of um, something bad. They feel like something bad may happen um, if they try to revive this for some reason. I don't know what's that about, but it's almost like they're developing a strength from the lessons learned. Hey, it may have took your person a while, especially if they were in this nine of cups energy and the four of swords where they're having like this, this whole role or this, this facade that they were playing out of, you know, trying to mask deep depression or trying to mask not being happy with themselves. So this is happening. This is one big mirror or this Whatever is happening in this person's life is one big mirror for this person to kind of recognize or open their eyes to what the hell they're doing here. All right. So there's a lot of beauty. I feel like you have like a strong spirit with the queen of cups. So even though you may be soft and gentle and you're really like some of you may be very submissive in your own way or you just pick up on other people's emotional needs and you feel really good taking care of that but that may have brought you some sort of sadness as well and you could be playing the victim and these two cards popping up your your um angelic assistance ancestors or spirit guy wants you to know you went through this challenge to strengthen your spiritual gifts or your ability to psychically and intuitively know people's needs so it's a blessing and a, a curse is what i'm hearing maybe some of you kind of relate to it like that but um this card coming up is asking or inviting you to spend some time um it's like take some more time to see where you're at right now or who you are right now and i feel like your person may be doing that in the separation so if the separation feels like it's very it's too much it's happening for you guys to kind of like recognize who you guys are individually so i don't know if this was a situation where you guys' identity got blended you guys were very codependent on each other's um uh, attention or depending on each other for happiness or depending on each other just to feel more confident about yourself. So that time is wrapping up. That cycle is closing up. Um, judgment is here as well. So it's going to be a, a raw truth here as well, or this big enlightenment here going on with this person. So wow. Shift shifter. So I don't know. You guys may be shift shifting, seeing a lot of animal, um, totems, some of you may be shamans. I'm hearing that you're a shaman. One of you are a shaman. Hmm. Doesn't have to be though. So it, both of these cards, we have four of swords, shape shifter, mirror guardian. Could also be in the five of cups as well. Talking about taking this time to focus on your strength, on your gifts. This is a big challenge or this was very challenging part of you guys' connection. Um, this person could be a karmic. It doesn't have to be. It just means that you guys taught each other some really um, challenging life lessons. Hey, um, This person is very low in a low space, but it's very transformative hey, as well. So it could have been a lot of like unwanted transformations or unwanted what is this I'm hearing? It's like a lot of unwanted lessons, but it brought beautiful transformations within the both of you. This person needs to work on forgiving themselves. This is that self judgment, or you need to work on forgiving yourselves. I'm hearing it's more to the story. It's not over yet. It's more to the story with the judgment. So this person is looking at all their past experiences and it's like, they don't know how it's making them strong, but it's, it's supposed to make them stronger. Hey, they're being guided to focus on the light. We have the moon with the wolf. So this person could be very grieving over you howling at the moon or that, like that, that sad, you know, sometimes when we had the, the wolves or the dogs howling, it feels like they're sad and you know, they're like, calling for something and with the judgment this person wants to call you 
you know, they want to talk to you. It's like they want to rediscover the beauty or the gifts within this connection or they want to rediscover your gifts. So take, you know, use your intuition, feel your way in or out of this situation. This person was in survival mode with the frustration, angry and shift shifting. I feel like your person was in survival mode. Hey, let's see what they want to tell you. Driven by lust. Kissing. Yeah. Keith Washington kissing you. I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs> so we have driven by lust, desires, kissing, touching, sex, flirty. So your person wants to be with you intimately. We have expect miracles. You have the attention of the ethers. We have the thought of you makes me smile, nostalgia, sentimental, longing for a long gone moment. So if you guys been together, this person is craving your love. Let's see what else they want to tell you. They're craving the, the, the loving ways that you have, the nurturing ways. Please don't give my loving away. Keep it sacred. Oh, my God. This person may feel like this, the sex, if you guys had sex, it fit like a glove. It was meant, you're meant for me. You were made for me. The karmic knows about us. So if this person had, um, or they indirectly put you in a third party, their person knows, or the person that wants to hold on to them knows about you guys. This could also be a karmic account with individual family members. You know, they could have a family member that's just not really for this connection. And that person could have gave them ill advice that led them into another karmic lesson. So that person who they trusted to follow advice from, that person is trying to guilt trip you, that, your person or argue with them or even threaten them. You know, little threats like if you go after that person, we, you could end up fucking up the business. And, and your person is just like, well, I can't keep away from my person. And I feel like time is running out. I'm always being guided back to my person. And I'm very nostalgic. My heart is very heavy with um, times that we spend together. My heart is very heavy with this affair. This person can't shake you and whoever they talk to about it, they're trying to guilt trip your person not to come your way hey, or not to follow their heart. I'd rather you hold my hand when time's getting rough and nobody is watching. So your person may like the fact that uh, for some of you, it could be like a secret affair, but they could have you like, I feel like they don't like to brag or boast about you and the thing that you guys have together because people don't understand the level of this connection even in separation this person longs for you and they 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 kind of pick up that people around them don't understand how they're feeling so they kind of keep a lot of things to themselves about you i feel like when they're strong they go out in the world and they monopolize and they do what they have to do but when they're down they really need your help they really need you to console them and reassure them now you take that how you want it uh it says it feels like time is running out please reach out to me yeah i felt that really big when it came to frustration we have four 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 I did pick up the four with this card as well. Um, we have your angels are around you and support you in your goals. Your, the angels or, you know, whoever is encouraging your person to do some sort of mental work. That's that four of swords energy. So your person can't shake it. And after following the advice or the opinions of others, they realize that they were just going down a very dark road or it was leading them to more deep depression and deep sadness. They may have traded you. I'm hearing they traded you or they gave up on you for something else. And now it's like they want to, they need to talk to you about this mistake, but they feel like you're just going to go on and on about how it hurt you. <laughs> the same cards came out again. You guys, I'm done. I'm done. The same exact cards came out. Okay, so that needed to stay out, all right? I'm done. <gasps> oh, it's like, I'm not going to do that ever again. Afraid of my emotion, love makes me want to risk everything. And that scares me. Everything I was taught. Mm, will I be left with nothing? So this person is afraid that if they follow you or they come towards you, they're going to lose everything. And this love makes them want to forget everything. It makes them want to just 
uh, app out. It makes them want to cap out of the life that they have now. If they want this new lifestyle really bad, call me. Someone doesn't want to seem too eager, but ring them or ring me. I can sense your presence. I receive confirmation about you daily. Psychic connections, intuitively. Yeah, wow. So, you know, in these times, a lot of people are waking up to the nonsense. They have been following the destructive patterns of people, you know, that don't mean them well. I'm not going to take all these cards, but this person was trying to rationalize how they felt about the situation. They wanted to live in this comfortable bubble of misery and they can't any longer. It's too much suffering here. We have sacrifice for the greater good, selfless service, surrender to the higher power. <laughs> so your person is surrendering through a separation. And I always say separation is always a great thing. You always know where you stand with a person and how much they mean to you in the separation, all right? I know it hurts as fuck, but you be, you you get over it. What don't kill with fatten. You're the main character. The hero was always you. So your person may have been dependent on people to save them or depend on you to save them from. And this could be a very unrealistic goal that they had from a child. And they grew into an adult carrying this same kind of paradigm or conditioning. So they're starting to see they're very aware that they are the hero and they need to do something here. They have the gifts. They're very strong. This was happening to strengthen the connection or deepen the bond and deepen the strengths and us. Uh, gifts within the both of you this person might want to deliver the gift of honesty this is a lot of cards i'm going to just take the first two all right and i'm going to put back the rest so we have eight 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 uh you were born to receive wealth abundance embrace it so your person may have a life path of five six eight nine fours as well so this person knows that this is what they're meant. This is part of their life purpose is to deepen the bond with you. We have a kiss is no longer a kiss. You guys, Keith Washington kissing you. A kiss is no longer a kiss. It is the place where heaven and earth meet. Love runs so deep. Oops. You guys. Yeah, look, that card came out again, rationalizing. So this person was too comfortable in an illusion. Now that I'm triggered by losing you, I, sur I suddenly know what to do. Leap of faith. Losing you was a near-death experience. The ending of this relationship or the cycle uh, was like a near-death experience for your person, and they're wanting to dive deep now. With that wheel of fortune, the time is now now all right so i'm gonna leave it there you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this message if you did go on big up yourself in the comment box below you'll find a lot of my delicious uh details in the description box on how you could donate or contribute to the channel uh you know donations or tips are not necessary lick like hit <laughs> i was gonna say lick that <laughs> Hit that notification button, but like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button is just as good, you guys. And thank you guys so much for being a part of the Hourglass community. I am enjoying each and every one of your guys' energy, regardless if you're a troll or naysayer. It's all great, baby. You can't stop the movement. You can't stop the mission. You cannot stop the flow of these channels. All right. So I'll see you guys in another uh, channel message. I'm also seeing a lot of X's here. So there may be a lot of X's in the picture, but we have 10 and we also have judgment with hmm, the twos. All right. So, yeah. I'm hearing this person is wanting to give themselves their own reality here. They wanted to kind of create their own happy outcome here. All right. And they're very grateful Oh, see, that, that's that depression. We have respectful and we have receptive. So they're open and they're accepting how things are this level. They're accepting you for who you are. All right. This person may have been riddled with a lot of depression or, you know, misery or grief that they could not give to you. Their cup was like murky. Their emotions were very murky. And it took this separation or this ending of this relationship to kind of like, put a lot of things into perspective here for them to open their heart and hear the calling for the both of you or to get with you. All right. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. You guys, ah, see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.